Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creative Connections Readings. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a pick a card reading to see what is your bridal's gift, okay? I think that would be very high vibrational and fun for us to know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. We have four piles to pick from, as usual. For pile number one, we have this beautiful honey dropper. I know the name now. <laughs> But I quite like honey drip drop thingy as well. So yeah, for pile number one. You can even see the honey just like dripping off it, can't you? Then for pile number two, we have this beautiful shiny shiny leaf. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> pushing that energy away. Then for pile and number three, We have this beautiful and colorful, vibrantly colorful, colorfully vibrant rather, uh, string of wool, of woolen yarn stuff of color. And then for pile number four, we have this Dutch clog. A Netherlands clop. I think we call it a clop. A clop? No, it's a clop, I think, in Afrikaans, right? So, yeah. Those are the four piles to once again see what is your greatest gift. Pick your pile and I will see you there. Sat Anum, pile number one. For those of you who picked the beautiful honey drip drop thing, this is going to be a reading to see uh, what is your greatest gift. Okay. The <coughs> <clears throat> the movement I'm doing with the honey drip drop thing is like light language. I'm writing light language in the air. Um, I'm writing the code down. Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to... Hmm. Some of you might be coders or something like that. Um, or like hackers or IT stuff people. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. What's up for pile number one? What's pile number one's greatest gift? Okay. Winter. Take care of your knees. Oh, raw. It's, I like that energy, pile number one. Um, so that is also maybe like, I feel like, like, take care of, care of your needs. You are very good at, I feel like kind of like manifesting things for yourself in like dire situations or you can, I feel like you can do something, you can create something enough or sufficient for you, sustainable for you with very little. Okay. Um, that's also maybe like why I got the like coding kind of energy there because it's almost like like um, creating something out of thin air like putting like codes in the matrix and then okay yay something happens okay so I feel like you're very resourceful uh, pile number one I feel like that's your greatest gift is your resourcefulness yeah I almost said resourceability resourceful ability and I don't know why I would say that okay but uh, you're very resourceful uh, pile number one. I'm being drawn, because this is the winter card, I'm actually being drawn to this energy of like, like white, white winter snow, like white winter lands, you know, and then like you like scavenging for something in this like very barren and desolate environment, but you always manage to get something, you always manage to find something, you always manage to build something or catch something or something like that, okay, extremely resourceful. Um, you survive, you can survive metaphorically extremely harsh winters, okay, pile number one. So let's see, let's get into this deck to get un poquito más información. So, the Hermit. Yeah, so this is, well, Lone Wolf. Um, I just heard possibly and probably, I don't know why. Um, uh, lone Wolf energy here, Lone Wolf energy here indeed. Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, pile number one, the Emperor. Yeah, Strength, you're extremely independent, you're extremely... Um, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting this vibe of like I work alone, you know like that <laughs> like that kind of energy here, okay um, Death yeah, like like a lot of like Dark kind of vibes. I feel like I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to like express 10 minutes worth of something like what, what is your greatest gift? What is your greatest gift for resourcefulness? That's it, okay <laughs> um Like I, I feel like I feel like 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 you can you can go at it completely alone here, Palmer, and you can go out it at it at completely. I feel like even your own pace. I feel like you really don't. I feel like the fact that you are so extremely free um, due to your resourcefulness creates a lot of empowerment for you. Creates a lot of um, 
space for you it creates a lot of um even like but but exactly like you can manifest new beginnings or something out of nothing you like like in the in the middle of the winter you, you can from from the air you manifest like fire for yourself you know to like help sustain you to help um help you endure the winters that life throws at you okay I'm getting I'm getting a lot of like singular again like lone wolf vibes here like if these aren't the cards for lone wolf winter with the wolf and the hermit you know that's pretty much um lone wolfy vibes I can't I feel like this these readings might be very um like just short okay um the hermit with the two of swords but yeah like this two of swords lady is also very um alone okay um I'm not getting a lot about that two of swords though this is giving me some kind of a Ugh, oh, pile number one, pile number one. Um, clarify, like, at the bottom of the deck the Empress, and the other card we have is Ten of Wands. You know what I'm getting, pile number one? Like, your resourcefulness is because of your ability, not ability, because of your, your, your experiences you went through your resourcefulness um i feel like you can you can be very cold as well in regards to like uh, what it is that you need and like you taking what you need or you, something like that like you've ha you've learned like proper how to survive this is even giving me that song i, I listened to this song this morning um why should i worry why should i care yeah yeah oliver and company and he sings something about um I'm streetwise, I can improvise, and then I said, hoo hoo, I'm street smart, I got New York City hot, so that's what I'm getting here with this, okay, Polymer, that for some reason, that took like, uh, like, like, um, I, I'm hearing an issue, that, like, the energy coming through for you, Polymer, is a little bit scattered, or a little bit like, took, 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 something like that, um, <clears throat> And I actually feel like the the reason if your life has been feeling like like go stop go stop go stop it's because not only have you been learning to really hone your your resourcefulness um in the stagnant winter energies um but it's also been giving you space to to like um I want to say kind of find like extreme balance in the like dead of winter like you know like the winter can be extremely like um I'm getting like I'm, I'm getting like you can survive on the streets or some shit like that okay like tr like truly Palmer you're extremely resourceful um like this this quietness of a dead like back way New York alley like it seems quiet and still like the winter um like it might even be kind of serene and quiet but like it's actually very dangerous and it's actually very like um hostile but like you survive that, you know how to like maneuver that space. You're extremely resourceful, Pond Um, I feel like that is what I am sharing. Thank you so much. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing and I will see you again for another one. Sot nom me. Sotnam Paul number two. Sot nomsters, my god. This is gonna be a reading to see for those of you who pick the leaf. To see <clears throat> What is your greatest gift oh, for pile number two? What is your greatest gift? Air guardian, shift your perception. Or oh, what? Or oh, what? Hmm, interesting. Um, this air guardian, shift your perception. I feel like you have this very uncanny ability to, interesting. Um, you have this ability to like put yourself in other people's shoes or in other people's energies. But I also feel like you have this ability to do that with other people. Like to have other people see things differently and experience life in a, um, in some, from somebody else's perspective or something like that. Okay. Um, I feel like you're very good. Like you're great. Like, okay. I feel like you're very good at like, I don't want to say entering people's minds in a creepy kind of way, but you're very good at understanding people. And once again, like maybe some of you, maybe some of you could even like resonate with the whole INFP archetype, the INFP archetype of being some kind of like mediator, something like that. Okay. Even if you don't want to, or you don't like actively do it, like you're very good at it. Okay. Um, I, I, I want to give you one specific word though of what your greatest gift is. Okay. So, um, hmm. I feel like the more I speak on exactly how this energy presents itself in your life, I will get like a specific um, word. 
um, air guardianship to perception. I am quite honestly also getting this vibe of like like having high perspectives and stuff like that, being able to very easily like shift. It's almost like being able to shift between the worlds and stuff like that. But like I feel this is much more in regard to like understanding people and like knowing how their minds work, knowing how um, like you can actually quite honestly use utilize this energy as some kind of like in a bad way. And I just saw the Queen of Wands, okay, to like to, to manipulate people. Um, but so yeah, you're very good at working with your own and other people's perception of, of, um, like life again, like you can utilize this ace of cups. You can utilize this in a way to help people to bring like peace and understanding, or you can utilize this to just like, yeah, wreak havoc or something. Um, five of cups again, like you're very good at understanding people. You might resonate with being an empath with being an indigo star child, person um i very clearly heard that that way <laughs> um <clears throat> but you're very good at understanding people's emotions you're also very good at conveying um people's emotions like i feel like sometimes in some way uh pile and uh, number two i feel like a lot of people yeah come speak to you about their emotions or they come to you for like um whether they know this or not like emotional healing or emotional balance um it's because you you like sometimes it's almost like you understand people's emotions better than they do okay i mean not i i have feelings of this energy of like Ooh, but, but, but like that's why you go see a shrink my guy like you know that's why you see a psychologist and shit okay <laughs> so um i feel like you're very good at understanding people pal number two you're very um even if you are like an introvert very closed off or something like that some of you i feel like really are um infp right um, <laughs> you don't have to be an INFP or closed off. It's just, I feel like you're very good with people. You're very good with, 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 with sharing emotions, with healing emotions, with understanding emotions, conveying emotions to people. Um, you're, you're a people's person, even if you are closed off is what I wanted to say. Okay. So, um, I want to give you again, like one specific word in regards to what I'm feeling here though. Your greatest gift pile number so that you can go put that on your resume, like Jean said. Okay. <laughs> um, your greatest, your greatest. I, w I would actually say your greatest gift pile number two is your perception. Okay, and your ability to navigate that perception. I feel like that is like take perception from that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. I I do need to say so. So now that you know that, I do need to say a little bit more of like. Like, you, you really bring healing, you really bring some kind of balance, you really uh, bring some kind of, like, emotional, like, a more emotional depth to people. I'm getting somebody having conversations with somebody and being, like, and that person saying, like, oh, my God, like, I, I didn't think about it that way, so, shit like that, you know. Um, but, but, but at a very deep level, I'm getting, I'm getting a very, um, like, deep emotional perspective shift here, okay. And again, like, I feel like you're very good at clearing up, like, not only arguments, like, bringing, like, balance to arguments and stuff like that. Um, like, healing people's heart spaces, because after the, the Three of Swords is, like, intense heartbreak, right? Then there's healing and um, coming togetherness, you know, resting. Um, yeah, I feel like you just shift people's perception on life and, and, and stuff like that, okay? And I also feel like your ability to, 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 to shift your, your perception on yourself is creating this energy of um like also a lot of a lot of movement a lot of freedom like i don't feel like you um you get stuck in the matrix easily you don't get stuck with other people's bullshit easily with other people's like denser energies easy easily because like you see sh through shit okay like sight like you have very good sight you have very good like um like inner sight okay pile number two i feel like that is what i want to say for you as well like like because that like includes perception you have very good inner sight pile number two that is actually not very good that is your greatest gift you have great inner sight okay um is that long enough yeah, I feel so. Thank you so much, Paul Number 2. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And we'll see you again for another one. Satnam. Bye. Satnam. Pile and number three for those of you who picked me. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and this is good. For those of you who picked, like, I feel like that was what the string was saying. Okay, the, the yarn, the wool was saying that. Oh my god, you picked me. I don't know why. I'm feeling a bit creepy with that. This is going to be a reading to see... What is your greatest gift, okay? I fuck with clowns and them pirates. That freaky shit got me smiling. What is pile number three's greatest gift, okay? Pile number three's greatest gift, yas. Yes.
summer, basking joy and light. Yes, I love it. You know what? I'm, I'm really getting, I fuck with clowns and them pirates. That freaky shit got me smiling, okay? I'm getting this energy of like, you are extremely happy with yourself. You are extremely, um, I'm hearing boastful. I feel like a lot of people in the shadow might experience you as boastful. I mean, like, like, how dare that person be dripping with honey energy all the time? Like, I feel like that's the energy I'm getting here. Like, you are summer. Uh, pile number three. Bask in joy and light. You're like the, like, I feel like your greatest gift, your greatest gift is your, is your, your energy being extremely summer-ish in the sense of like, it is the epitome of the, it is the, it is the fullness and the completion of abundance of the growth season, right? In summer, everything is already like to its fullest extent, to its fullest, like, you understand what I'm saying, okay? I do feel like your your greatest gift is even like you dripping with honey despite like haters or naysayers. Like I feel like you're always happy or you're always even when you're not happy, like I'm getting this like you don't give a fuck kind of vibe because you're like a queen bee, some kind of energy, okay? Beautiful, I love this. I can almost taste the honey with this energy, truly, truly. Like I almost feel it like on my tongue and my lips, okay? Bask and join life summer. I'm just feeling the vibe still. I feel like there's still something you need to saw or you need to know. You need to know. Yeah, I just quite honestly feel like you're like an extremely happy go lucky person, even when you're not. Uh, <laughs> like um you yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you're you're extremely abundant, um, pile number three. I feel like that's your energy, like you are an epiphany of summer. Whereas like I feel like Persephone, look at this, the sun as well. Whereas like Persephone was this goddess, was the goddess of springtime and the start of the new, the seeds starting to grow and sprout. Demeter was the goddess of like the harvest. She was the goddess of like the actual abundance, you know, and that's what I'm getting here. Summer vibes, the actual nature being in full, not, not bloom, but, but being in its full potential. I'm ready to be like, um, harvested, ready to be like utilized, etc. etc. Jesus, death. <laughs> oh my god, death. <laughs> Before I continue, let me, let me get like the other cards before I continue. Like, you know, bees, bees have this ability to like not give a fuck and sting you whether they die or not. Like they know they're going to die. Um, and so they still decide to like sting Prince of Cups. Yeah. And the honey is all about resurrection. Okay. Five of Wands. Interesting. The Emperor. Interesting. Drink. I feel like your greatest gift, uh, pile number three, forget everything I just said, but not also don't, uh, because like your greatest gift is all of this, like basking and joining light and being summer, yes. Um, but quite honestly, I also, excuse me, I didn't mean to spit. Um, <laughs> um, quite honestly, I'm also getting this energy of like, like a, a resurrection y kind of vibe, or, or like, or like rather. You know what I'm getting with this death, Prince of Cups, and Five of Wands? It's almost like in some way your energy is the exact opposite of death. You know, summer, like like life. Um, like you have a very lively energy. Your 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 greatest gift, pile number three, is your life energy. It's your life force. Okay, it's the fact. It's your 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 spiritual abundance. Your life energy again. Like your key. Okay. Um. Like, I'm getting, for some of you, you are, like, very, very happy and I'm being drawn to that cow I always have, Daisy, right? Um, but, like, even if you are, like, extremely, like, dark and lonely and mysterious or whatever, like, I'm still feeling, um, like, even if you, like, like wear cloaks and, like, I don't know, like, shit like that, like, you're still very much, um... <sighs> Spiritually abundant, spiritually very light, very bright, okay? Um, so, yeah. Um, and I, I feel like I, I, I kind of, like, Queen Bee vibes, like, I, I also want to say, like, a lot of things... <laughs> a lot of things is very much beneath you, okay? Pile number three. <laughs> I know, I love this vibe, though. <laughs> but, like, truly, like, energetically, I feel like a lot of things are very much beneath you. Uh, a lot of things that seem, like, to other people um, seem very much beneath you, pile number three, okay? So... Um, just take that as it resonates. <laughs> like, 
But I mean, yeah, I like the meter is Lakshmi as well. Lakshmi is the goddess of abundance, right? Um, the epiphany of abundance, the epiphany of overflow. Um, so like a lot of things are just like beneath you, okay? energetically so yeah your your greatest gift is your absolute spiritual abundance power number three right um your absolute like like life force energy that is like your vibe um that's not lame like if you f if you're feeling what i'm feeling about that you would understand that's not lame but i also don't think you're feeling it's not lame maybe somebody here thinks it's lame it's not okay go meditate <laughs> anyway. uh part number three that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one set now bye Sat Nam pile number four. <laughs> Don't put your hand in my face. <laughs> this is gonna be a reading for those of you who picked this shoe. It's gonna be a reading to see what is your greatest gift or what. If the shoe fits, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm even getting like a shape shifting energy. So I would be like, it would be so cool if the shape shifting vibe, the shape shifter card came out um, of this deck. But okay, let's see what actually comes out. wise one let me just check maybe it can like <laughs> okay no but the lord magic guardian druid i never i didn't for the other pulse check any of the other cards wise one grow within your current situation hmm. yeah so this is still truly actually giving me this kind of um almost shape-shifting energy not, not completely but i'll just say why i'm saying that um like because of your wisdom or because of like all of the experiences you've had in regards to I kind of want to say compromise or something like that or like 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 hmm yeah like understanding people understanding motivations this is feeling me some kind of like collective of the whole reading energy here part number four um obviously your guys get this wisdom i feel like your wisdom is is like allows you to really maneuver a lot of situations like i feel like you've again if you've experienced a lot you know a lot of types of people or you know how to work with a lot of types of people a lot of types of archetypes a lot of types of like energies in the world um you're like the, the you're, you're you're wise palm number four like what else can i say and, and i feel like because of this wisdom you are some kind of like completion or collective of all of the other paths as well okay um, I do also need to say, like, um, hmm. for some of you, okay, interesting that how this energy is expressing. For some of you, your greatest gift is your wisdom, and for some of you, your greatest gift is your ability to grow into wisdom. Okay, um, for some of you, you were actually born like extremely wise, like 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 an extremely old soul. Um, and for others, you weren't, like, you're, you're I don't want to say you're, you weren't born an old soul. Like, how does that make sense? I'm just getting this energy of, like, you had to endure a lot in order to access this wisdom, okay? So, so there are kind of two camps here as well for pile number four, okay? Um, <laughs> intense. Like, this lady is giving me some kind of luck. Anyway, let's continue. I'm into the next deck. What does this happen? Like, what does this happen to me? <laughs> like, I'm joking. That was a silly joke. I don't want to project that kind of energy. Eight of Pentacles. Um, That Eight of Pentacles, again, is giving me, like, this is giving me a lot of, like, emotional and spiritual work, pile number four, okay? Um... A lot of emotional and spiritual work work again in order to have this wisdom, in order to have this um, ability maybe to grow. Again, for some of you, you were even maybe born with the ability to grow into wisdom or you, you had to learn the ability to grow into wisdom even, okay? Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm even hearing unshakable. So like, palm number four, the fact that your greatest gift is your ultimate reach of wisdom, your, ultimate, your, your attainments of wisdom um, and expression of that, this is leading you to a lot of happiness, okay? I'm feeling this energy of being unshakable in a sense of, like, um, been there, done that, seen that, experienced that, what you gonna do, like, okay? Because, uh, not boredom, not really apathy, it's just, like, you know how old people, um, that have seen everything kind of, like, sometimes are just, like, like, they're actually pretty fucking badass. That's the energy I'm getting here for you, Paul number four. Like, that old person that really doesn't give a fuck. Because they, like, they've seen shit. And they've seen it all, kind of. And they're just like, yeah, no, okay, cool. Kind of, you know. 
Um, so yeah, what is this Eight of Pentacles trying to tell me? Am I only at like 24 minutes? Yeah, sure, that's why not. Um, anyway, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I also feel like, like, you have the, but, but yeah, like, the, the Eight of Pentacles is about something that, like, is already bloomed, it's already something, it's already grown, it's already reaped rewards and continues to reap rewards, right? Um, it's something that is completed. Um, and that's what, what I'm feeling here for you, Pom, for, like, 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 your your not only not only is your gift your your growing wisdom but it's like you being able to grow shit with your wisdom as well um this is giving me a lot of like solomon vibes i keep i keep hearing king solomon so a lot of like abundance because of wisdom a lot of riches because of wisdom and a lot of happiness because of wisdom um i'm not gonna say that though um so yeah is there anything else you want to share with me um, again, I also feel like like you know people, you know situations, you know how to spot a red flag from a mile away, how to spot bullshit from a mile away. Very wise, pal, uh, number four, okay? Whether you were born with this or not, it doesn't matter, you're very fucking wise. Um, <laughs> I feel like that's sufficient, pal, number four. Thank you so much, that was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you again for another one. Satnam, bye.